All right, so uh, here's the freaking donkey. <laughs> we come out in the morning and he will let you know really quickly. Um, ow, damn it, Walter. Y'all, I am literally dying. I just wanted to be off on Labor Day and enjoy our time not mowing grass. Um, and then I ended up <clears throat> with freaking COVID. Oh. And this is the uh, little one right here who decided <laughs> to give me COVID. Thank you, Jamie. I really appreciate that. I'm sorry. So I am homesick. The uh, guys are off work today. And uh, I'm almost kind of regretting us taking off because we're going to be behind schedule this week with a holiday. And um, I'm sick. So if they get in trouble, <laughs> I'm not going to be able to help out much. But, uh, man, it's so important to have, have some help, man. Like, I was thinking, if I was a solo guy right now, I would be in in deep trouble because there's no way I could go out and mow and be productive at all. I, it'd probably just do a lot more harm than good if I was out trying to mow right now. But I have some things that I can do to be productive around the house today. I've got to do a oil change oh on the gosh. mowers, um, kind of just clean oh up the gosh. trailers and stuff. Um, so that's what we're going to be doing and just, just try and be somewhat productive today. I wonder what everybody else is doing on the Labor Day. I hope y'all are doing something a lot more fun than me again because uh, being sick, being sick is no fun. I've got so much work to do around here at the place, man, uh, between, you know, getting this driveway taken care of, um, getting this pole barn worked on. It just seems like there's just so much work I got to do. Here are the, uh, these are, where were they at? So I have absolutely no idea if this is going to work, guys, but here is what I'm going to do. So my driveway, um, we're on about four and a half, almost five acres of land out here, and it was just, I didn't have the money to do concrete. I mean, we were getting quotes that was just so high. So these are uh, asphalt millings. This is one load of millings. And here was my thought process. And I would love to have you guys um, give me your thoughts as well. But um, we've packed this down pretty good. And I'm, obviously this right here is just uh, loosely put up. But here's what we're gonna do. And here's my thoughts. This area right here, I'm going to form it up just like it's going to be a concrete, okay? talking about one by four pressure treated all the way down here tack it in get it all nice and tight uh this is some metal edging we want to have a, a, a roundabout right here for our house and this whole thing is going to be millings that goes all the way down here uh to the road and then eventually the millings are going to go back down this way uh down there um to the pole barn at the back of the property but here's my thought i was thinking we could take the the millings and pile them in here take a two by four and then put the two by four here and here and literally just scrape down this way just like you're screeding it off um like like for concrete and then bring something in here to just uh pack this all down um the millings are about nine hundred dollars um, a load <clears throat> delivered and it was like literally a fraction of the cost um, for us to do concrete the concrete honestly to me it just looks kind of residentially and i didn't really want that out here i really wanted um a, a different kind of look but this section is going to have a, a nice tree in it maybe a sycamore tree and then some um plantings around here but we it was important for us to have a roundabout but what would you what would you guys recommend in this because that's the best thing that i can think of right now and i know i got a lot of smart people that watch my lawn care channel and uh i just i would love to hear what, what your idea is i mean this might end up being an absolute complete disaster and you guys be like john that's never gonna freaking work but uh <laughs> just let me know uh because i'm gonna try it unless y'all talk me out of it dude my truck is so freaking dirty um does anybody else like have a problem cleaning their truck out during lawn care season i'm just gonna open this i have no idea what's in here what do we got going on Oh, this is what I've been using as these uh, long 12-inch spikes uh, to tack in uh, the forming boards uh, for those asphalt millings. But, um, oh, I had a blowout the other day, so I had to go get another one of these. My other little uh, air compressor just would not put air into the tire. So um, I'm honestly embarrassed to tell y'all that I have not put another tire on our trailer, and I'm flirting with disaster right now. This is absolutely embarrassing, man. Like, oh my gosh. I know, but if y'all are being honest, y'all's y'all trucks look like this too. All right, what do we got going on here in the back? Oh, I had a, um, a big old palm tree I had to cut out the other day. Um, so 
have that and then the axe in the back. I keep this cooler in the back of the truck, put ice in it at the beginning of the week, and it usually lasts me all week. Um, that's a, called an Orca cooler. It does a really, really good job. And then uh, some hedge trimming or attachments and then an uh, old backpack sprayer. So a lot of people have been asking me, you know, if, if I have enjoyed this truck, this is the F-250 uh, trimmer. I got the, uh, the gas engine 7.3. And uh, golly, it sucks down gas. But people have been asking me, you know, do, do I like this truck? Yeah, I absolutely love the truck. I mean, I, I ended up putting leather on the inside. I mean, it has the moonroof, it has the works, it has absolutely everything. The truck has honestly allowed me to use my dump trailer and to, to, to do deliveries for people. I mean, I have friends and clients that call me, you know, that are wanting a dump trailer load of, of dirt or topsoil. Or, or whatever, and I'm able to do that in this truck. But more important than that, it has just opened us up to doing um, some landscaping work that we never could have done, whether it's hauling materials around. And while you don't need a very expensive truck, um, adding a three quarter ton truck or similar, you know, to our business has really, really been a blessing um, for just increasing the amount of work that we can do. Look how perfect that tree ring is. Uh, if you guys missed that video the other day, I'll show you exactly how we create uh, tree rings for our clients. A um, little trick that we use to make sure the circle is uh, nice and uh, symmetrical. I'll post a uh, link to it so you guys can see that if you missed that video. All right, so uh, there's the freaking donkey. <laughs> you guys here. All right, so this barn is a 24 by 48, and uh, that's, that, that's the center section. And then it has 16 foot lean twos uh, on each side. So this is our big fall project. And Jamie is going to be helping me figure this out because um, we, need we need it bad. But this right here has really been uh, one of the absolute best investments that I made in my business. Um, I saved my money up. <clears throat> I didn't finance this thing. It was $8,500 at the time. And I was just kind of like gritting my teeth, you know, like, oh my God, I can't believe I'm fixing, you know, get up, come off $8,500 in cash. But you know what? Um, I had a big job to do and I knew that we were going to be getting into sod and stuff and I had the money there. And I said, you know what? Um, it's not going to deplete my cash reserves. Uh, so I will go ahead and just buy this thing outright. And that's exactly what I did. But it has just been a blessing, man, for just being able to haul equipment like skid steers, to haul dirt, uh, make dirt deliveries for people. This trailer has just opened us up to doing uh, so much more in our business. Uh, and I would say, you know, it is bang for the buck has been the uh, best, the best investment that we've made. So the garden, we ended up planting corn, corn potatoes, potatoes, okra, beans, watermelon, squash, cucumber, and literally the only things that took were the okra went insane, the potatoes, and the squash. Everything else was horrible. Yeah, it really was. But that was. was our first time doing a garden. It turned into a complete weed fest. And there well, it wasn't that. The stuff just didn't grow. Yeah, I mean. It like grew halfway and then had like a stunted growth. I think what we're going to do this year differently in the garden is we're going to get big tarps and then cover all this stuff out to to kill it. And I'm hoping that that will slow down the weed growth in here because, man, it was like, you can till all this up and get yourself nice rows and it's gonna look gorgeous for about 14 days. But I'll tell you what, man, here in our area of Florida, it just, it's like, I don't know how in the world to keep your garden free of weeds, you know, other than just maybe just putting a big tarp right here and killing it all out. But we gotta get prepped for our fall garden yeah. and, um, what, what are we going some, to be doing for the fall? Some oh. compost in it or something to yeah. give it more nutrients. Compost. Mm -hmm. um, I think we're oh, definitely... No, I need to look and see. We're definitely going to plant some... Uh, like turnips and kale. Turnips and kale. Uh, but it's literally been like 115 degrees here. It's been way too hot to even get it ready for fall. Yeah. I think today is like the first cool day in what is it, like 90 degrees? Yeah, yeah. So here are our blueberry bushes. We've been going through a drought here lately and they are super, super stressed out. But it's actually really embarrassing how it all looks right now. It really it's is. It's not how we are. This is real life though. That's right. Get on in here. Yeah, yeah. 
Hey, buddy. Oh. There's those little chickens that were in our yard. Walter is surprisingly uh, He's pretty friendly. Friendly. He is our neighbor's donkey, and uh, he lets us. <laughs> he he wakes us up every morning. Like he comes every. I know. I see you, buddy. I see you. We come out in the morning, and he will let you know really quickly. Um, ow, damn it, Walter. He He's bit me. <laughs> See you later, Walter. I'm trying to talk Jonathan to getting us goats. That's not happening. <laughs> so, Jamie and I are like super clean freak type people. And the I manage way, the inside. Yeah. I manage the outside. The way that our garden looks right now and the way that the pole barn is... Um, to say that it is stressing me out is an understatement. Um, there's just so much work that has to be done out here. But look, man, when you're building a house, huh, it is wild. All right, and I am uh, pretty proud of this uh, chicken coop that I built. I actually yanked these plans offline. Uh, I saw, saw a guy building it on YouTube. We uh, have 11 chickens. They are not producing eggs yet, but they're very, very close. It should be any day now. Um, we actually don't have 11 chickens, 11 hens. <laughs> yeah, we found out the other day we actually had uh, a couple of roosters <laughs> that we were that we did not know that we had. But um, let's check in here and see if uh, we get lucky. Y'all might end up seeing some eggs in here. Oh my gosh. Just our fake one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I can't believe No, just kidding. These these are the fake eggs. So we keep fake eggs in there. Apparently chickens, if they lay an egg, um, they will actually start eating their own eggs. And if you put some fake ceramic well, eggs in here. It yeah, they peck out it and it breaks and they eat it. But um, if you put those fake eggs in there, then it keeps them from uh, being able to crack it. And then they don't mess with theirs. So yeah, pretty simple little design. Uh, I say it's simple. Um, my, this was really important to my daughter to build this thing. So something that we did for her and she loves it. And honestly, it's just a lot of fun to be out here in the evenings and kind of watch these chickens go around and do their thing. But uh, one design that was really, really cool with this was, was the droppings board. Uh, the droppings board, they roost up here and then whenever they do their business, it falls onto this board, which keeps the whole bottom of their coop clean. It's like a feather right there. But this is very, very clean. All their poop is right here. So this is a great design. You just put a five gallon bucket right in, well, hello. Where'd you come from? You just put, get on, uh, you are not coming out. Do not, don't even think about it. You just put a five gallon bucket up underneath here. And then I use a shovel and just pull their droppings into here. And this is uh, absolutely, great fertilizer i think this is shy guy how you doing shy guy say hello you're big time you're a celebrity now yes you are Ma. all right head on out good on down there you go Yeah, there's just so many projects to do around here. And uh, we are both so ready for the fall. Guys, we hope you have a, a wonderful uh, Labor Day. Uh, take the day off, man. Do something fun, enjoy, enjoy it. You know, we, we work very, very hard in this industry. And um, you know, you need, you need to make sure that you're taking time um, to enjoy your family and just, you know, enjoy, enjoy the time, you know, not working. Getting COVID's given you a reason to slow down. Yeah. He doesn't stop ever. I say all that, but uh, it took COVID to kind of get me to slow down today. But um, you know what? I still feel like halfway decent, so I'm probably going to be back at work tomorrow. We'll see. You're ridiculous.